हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू मैकेनिकल एजुकेशन हब माय नेम इज आकाश अलावत एंड आई एम अ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट हाइड्रो पावर टर्बाइंस एज इट्स नेम सजेस्ट दैट हाइड्रो पावर टर्बाइन व्हिच मींस इट बेसिकली डील्स विद वाटर डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज दिस विद स्टीम टर्बाइन दैट यूजुअली वी यूज इन पावर प्लांट दीज आर ओवर ऑपरेटेड टर्बाइंस right now you are watching this turbine on your screen this is a pelton wheel water jet turbine so what are hydro power turbines hydro power turbines are the rotary machines which convert kinetic and pressure energy of water or we can say that dynamic or static head of water into the mechanical energy and then further this mechanical energy is used Uh, uh, mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy or is used to produce electricity some turbines convert only kinetic energy or dynamic head of water into mechanical energy whereas some turbines use both kinetic energy and pressure energy of water into mechanical energy right now i know it's little bit confusing but don't worry we'll have a detailed discussion in my upcoming video so now let's get started with classification of turbines so here by the way this is my blog address you can check this out also and url of my blog is modemac.blogspot.com can check all my content here also so let's get started so let's get back to our topic of classification of hydro power turbines we have various criteria different criteria on which we have classified our hydro power turbine first one is based upon energy available at inlet to runner in this criteria we have two turbines first one is impulse turbine and second one is reaction turbines now based upon the direction of flow of water with respect to runner turbines are divided in four categories tangential turbine axial flow turbine radial flow turbine and mixed flow turbines as the name suggests itself tangential flow turbine this means water enter the runner tangentially when axial flow turbine water will actually enter the runner or turbine and in radial direction in radial flow turbine water will enter in the radial direction and mixed flow turbine water enter both in more than one direction based upon specific speed <coughs> we classify our turbine uh, i use ns notation to specify this specific speed term but don't confuse with don't worry we'll study specific speed in detail in my upcoming video this is basically a introduction lecture so don't get confused now if our specific speed lies between 0 to 60 then it is a pelton wheel turbine if it's 0 to 30 it's a single jet pelton wheel turbine and if it lies between 30 to 60 it's a multi jet pelton wheel turbine if uh, our specific speed lies between 60 to 300 it's a francis turbine and between 300 to 1000 it's propeller and kaplan turbine and if we specify this if specific speed is between 300 and 600 it's a propeller turbine and if 600 to 1000 it falls under the category of kaplan turbine now last but not the least based upon head and discharge if we have high head available but discharge is low then pelton turbine is suitable for that purpose our pelton turbine will give good efficiency for high head and low discharge if our head is medium and discharge is also medium then francis turbine is perfect 
for that condition. For low head and high discharge, we use Kepler and propeller turbine there. Now before going directly to turbines, we need to study impact of jet under different conditions so that we have we can have better understanding of turbines. So let's move to the impact of jets. <coughs> now these are this is my impact of jet blow. You can also check this out on my blog channel. Before starting with the impact of jet, we must learn about the forces. Basically, what is force? Force is nothing but rate of change in linear momentum. When we apply the force on any body, then its momentum will change, and this change in momentum will be represented by subtraction of initial momentum of body from its final momentum. Okay, force applied on a body is final momentum of body minus initial momentum of body that's really simple I hope you all know that now let us consider a stationary vertical plate this one is plate on which water jet is striking water jet is coming out of nozzle with mass flow rate of m here it is represented by m dot M dot uh, just signifies about kilogram per second. The water jet is coming in kilogram per second. It's basically a mass flow rate, nothing else. <coughs> the, uh, the jet is striking. By the way, the, this jet, water jet, is having a diameter D. So the jet is striking at the center of this plate at point 1 this is basically the entry of water jet on the plate entry point of water jet on plate ok then water jet splits in two halves one is going upward and one is going downward ok and here at the end of the plate I denoted this point with 2 2 these are the exit point of plate this one and two basically represent entry and exit point as shown here you can see that now let us assume that v1 is the velocity v1 meter per second is the velocity of water jet striking on this plate okay and then it spills into two let us assume it is spill its water jet spills into equal half so half mass flow rate will go there and half mass flow rate will go there so and water jet exiting the plate with velocity v2 meter per second v2 meter per second okay Now here, jet is striking plate normally or you can say perpendicular at point 1 and exiting the plate tangentially from the tip of the vertical plate which is represented by point 2 with velocity v2 meter per second. If we consider this plate to be frictionless, then the entry velocity and exit velocity will be same. That means v1 will equal to v2. Okay. Now, Fz here represents the water jet striking the force. What is it striking with the force Fj over Fz of force? Okay, now plate will apply a reaction force against this force, which is represented by Fp. Here it is F plate. This jet force and plate forces are equal and opposite action and reaction forces. Remember, these are equal and opposite action and reaction forces. So, if, if we study about forces here, then F plate. F plate, we can say water, Fj is the force applied by water jet. 
and F plate is the body on which force is applied. So FP is basically rate of change in linear momentum of plate which is equal to final momentum minus initial momentum. As we know these both forces FJ and FP are equal but opposite in nature then we can also write it as a FJ is equal to negative of FP. Here this is shown. Now FJ is equal to initial momentum minus final momentum. So momentum is mass into velocity, mass flow rate into velocity mv1 minus my mv2. So for force applied by water jet is mv1 minus mv2. So this is our first video on water jet turbines. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any doubt regarding this video, please comment me. Now, after that, we'll join in our next video. Thank you for your time.